What is up guys, it is Zcodes here in another video, and today I'm back here on Unity with another Unity tutorial. And today I'm here to teach you guys how to combine the player position save system and the frame switch system. Now the reason these two need to be combined is because, let me actually show you guys real quick. Basically, when the player is loaded, let me go and do new game. So let's say you're playing, you know, you go to frame two, but then, you know, let's say you have to go somewhere. So you hit quit. You know, you exit the game. The reason these needs to be combined is because you load the game, it it loads up frame one because that's what it, that's what it does at the beginning of the scene. And you can't really change that. But the frame was loaded where frame two was in the previous load. So now the player has just completely fallen out of the scene. Now here's how you fix this. But actually, before you teach, before I show you guys that, there are two things I forgot. In my previous tutorials so in the in the very last one in the player position save one I forgot to tell you guys to if you have a main menu scene you want to go file build settings and then drag the main menu into your build settings here but also in my frame switch tutorial I forgot to show you guys one thing but it, let's say you have enemies in your game you obviously don't want those enemies triggering the frame switch you only want your player to do so so basically what you want to do first is go over to your player and give him the, the player tag which should already be in the tag list if it's not just go ahead and give him the uh, just go ahead and do add tag and then hit this little plus sign here and then do player and then you can hit save <clears throat> but after you've done that and make sure that your player does have the player tag Go back to the code and then all you want to do is do if collision dot game object dot tag equals equals and then in quotations the exact same spelling as your tag that you set on your player and then in these little brackets you just want to go ahead and copy and paste it and paste that little block of code inside of these brackets so basically if the trigger detects an object with this player tag right here, it will do this code. But say a enemy with the enemy tag goes for the trigger, it won't trigger the frame switch because it doesn't have the tag of player. But now that's that now that that's over, let's go ahead and move on to the other system of how to combine these two. Let's go ahead and go back into the frame switch. Now, I was just showing you guys that in case you just wanted to keep the same system. But if you are combining the two systems, then you need to do this code. So when the player does load where that second or third or fourth frame was, it activates that frame and deactivates the others like it's supposed to. So now let's go ahead and just keep all the rest of this code, but go ahead and delete this and also you can delete these public game objects as well. So, but now we want to create another public game object and we'll just go ahead and call this active frame. So basically this is going to be the object for the frame you want to keep active. But now we can do public game object, but this time put two little brackets here. So that's basically creating an, an array and we'll call this array other Frame. So basically all the other frames in the scene that you want to deactivate when this frame is active. But now you want to go ahead and do active frame dot set active true. And then you want to go ahead and do a for loop, which you can do tab and space to go in. And then right here where it says length, you want to go ahead and delete this. And then you want to do, oh, dive caps lock on. You want to go ahead and do other frames dot length. And then inside of this for loop, you want to go ahead and do other frames. And then you want to do two, two little brackets because it is an array. And then you just want to put this little eye here because that's what you have set right here. Two eyes. This is basically gathering all of you know, this is basically gathering everything inside of the other frames array. So, and then you want to do set active false. This is just grabbing 
all the all the frames or all the game objects you set inside of other frames and it's setting them to false so that's really all the code you need to do so now let's go ahead and head back into unity and we will go ahead and go to our frames and we'll go to our little edge here but this time instead of keeping it like it is we need to actually grab it and make sure and we'll edit it and make sure uh you know it's covering the frame that you want it to so i'll just put it around this little platform because this is where my character will be walking i'll put it right about there boom okay that I, so now i have that where i want it but we want to do the same thing for frame two so we'll go ahead and activate frame two and just so we don't get confused We'll, add, we'll deactivate frame one and then we can actually just duplicate edge one and we'll call it edge two or, or whatever else you want to call it and then you'll just go ahead and drag it over to where it covers your second frame how you like it boom so now that we have both edges set up for both frames Let's go ahead and set up the frames so they can be active and the other ones can be deactivated. So now for edge one, since it is covering this first frame, for the active frame, you want to drag in frame one. But because your other frames, or the, for the other frames that you want deactivated, you want to drag them into this other frames array. But let me go ahead and do, undo that. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and, you know, just control these, control D a few, these a few times. Let's say you have multiple frames in, in your one little scene. So you'd go edge one, and then you'd actually lock this just so it can stay there. And then you'd go, and then you'd select all the frames you want deactivated. And you drag them onto this little array, and they'd go all right under there. But because I only have... One frame two. I'm just gonna be dragging only frame two inside of here. Go and unlock that. But now we'll do the same thing for edge two. So we'll go on edge two. But since this is covering the second frame, we would drag frame two as our active frame, and we drag frame one or any other frames that you want deactivated onto this other frame slot, and that should be it so let's go ahead and go back to the main menu let's go ahead and save and make sure this works correctly so let's go ahead and hit the play button start a fresh game new game here we go moving around we go on to frame two we have to go go ahead and hit quit so it saves and then we stop playing a couple hours later we come back and we hit no game or load game and we are right back where we left uh, where we left off See, we can go back to frame one here, and it is all good. Now, that is it for today, guys. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope everyone says it's been going good. If it hasn't, then I hope this video helped. If it didn't, then I hope you guys can do something something today that I'm going to do good. And then you can reflect on today and say it was a good day. So, yeah, I'm Z Codes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one. Peace.